is going to talk about use of shall for a first person subject, use of will for a second and third person subject. We are also going to look at positive and negative sentences. And lastly, present perfect continuous plus four plus four uh, or since. I hope this is going to be uh, interesting. I welcome you to this uh, lesson. So, shall is used with first person singular I and plural we. Shall is used uh, with the first with the first person singular. I um, and plural we let's see what I'm saying I have to make a sentence using shall and I and we the first sentence says I shall call you as soon as I come. I shall call you as soon as I can. As soon as I can. So, shall is here. We we shall go to the cave to the cave on Sunday on Sunday so we have used shall with singular I one person. We, many people. I shall call you as soon as I can. We shall go to the cave on Sunday. So, this one is telling us we have, it's a prediction. It's a prediction that I can do it. That can be done later. I can give you another sentence. I shall post the letter in the afternoon. I shall post the letter in the afternoon. Also another one, I shall set the table in a few minutes. I shall. So it's not done. I expect to do it. I am hoping to do it. So, shall is a prediction. We shall draw the curtains just now. We shall just now. We have not started, so we shall do it. We shall set the table in the afternoon. We can also set the tables in the afternoon. And we can draw the curtains just now. Having said that, you have seen that we can use shall to predict an activity which is to take place. Therefore, uh, with this example, I would request that you learners, you write five sentences of your own using shall with plural we and with singular I. You can have uh, two with singular I and three with plural 
we. So, um, or what to do, let me put it, what to do, what to do, write five sentences. You see, shy. You see, shy. Either with singular or plural. Singular I, sorry, singular I or plural we. Now I go to the use of will for a second and that person subject. Will with the second and that person subject. Let's see. We use will with the second person you and that person, he, she, they. So, second person, subject, you. That person, We have he, she, and also they. They, they, they. <coughs> now let's have some examples of sentences where we use a you and also where we use she or he. One of the sentences is, you will go to the library, return home. You will go to the library, return home. That's a sentence. You will go to the, you will go to the library, return home. We have used you which is second person subject, you. Yeah? It's good. You will email, you will email Arusha next month. Or I can also say, you will repair the computer in the afternoon. All those sentences are in the second person. You will repair. You will repair the computer. The computer, computer in the afternoon. Yes, you, we have used you there. Now, we can also see another uh, area of that person subject, he, she, and they. I want to look at those areas. We use will with the second person you and that person he, she, and they. E.g. Yeah, those sentences are given there. We can also say she will send Mutiso an SMS this evening. Yeah, she will send that person, she will send Mutiso an SMS this evening. Also, 
The teacher will show us how to use the computer. We can also say they will release the results before the end of the year. They will, they will, yeah? Please have some few sentences here. Yeah? Complete the program. You complete the program. You complete the program. Uh, you complete the program tomorrow. Tomorrow. That is one of the third person. You also have another one. They, they will repair the computer this evening. They will repair the computer. They will repair the computer this evening. This evening. So how? She, she will send, she will send, Mutiso and SMS, this, this afternoon. complete the program tomorrow. This is that person. They will repair the computer this evening. Also that one. And also she will send this or an SMS this afternoon. Now, what I want to say is that I can also give you uh, some other sentences like um, they will they will complete the program next week um, he will he will end the exam tomorrow he will email his mother this evening and so on and so on. Let me say that on this area, that person, second person, you are going to make two sentences in the second person subject and three in that person. What to do? Right. Two sentences. In, in the second person subject. To write three sentences in 
den W warnt passen, warnt passen subject. That is your work. To see how you have understood this thing and how you have understood the second person. It is where we use you. You will. You will. Yeah? So, I want to move to an area called positive and negative sentences. Positive and negative sentences. This is another very interesting area. Positive and negative sentences. Read these sentences. Disha is a bright. Disha is a bright girl. Disha is a polite guy. That sentence is positive. So, the second sentence to read Disha is not a polite. So this one is positive. Talking good of it, uh, of the guy, good about the guy. This one is negative. Negative. Where <coughs> we say the guy is not good. Yes. We can also have another sentence here. Another sentence here. Market this morning. Okay, to the market this morning. This sentence is positive. It is positive. What about the negative? The negative. Sentence should read, Okero did not go. Okero did not go. Okero did not go to the market this morning. This morning. Good. Yeah, did not go. So, we have seen that he went. This person went to the market. Uh -huh. And the negative is telling us this person did not go. He stayed without going. Now, I want to give another sentence. Another sentence. I want us to understand or to get to know not is used in the negative, in the negative sentences. Not. It is used in negative sentences. Another sentence here will say, 
Pendo likes cats and dogs. Pendo. Pendo. Likes cats and dogs. This one is positive. Yeah, it is positive. The other sentence, negative, you say, Pelo does not. Pelo does not like cats and dogs. This one is negative. Yeah, because we have not. Pelo likes cats and dogs. Pedro does not like cats and dogs. Negative. I'm going to give some sentences here for us to try. Karaoke will phone me tonight. Karaoke will phone me tonight. The negative part of it is going to be Karaoke will not phone me Another sentence. Another sentence. The boys played football yesterday afternoon. The negative of this sentence would be the boys did not play football yesterday afternoon. Okay. Another sentence. Kibet works very hard in school. Kibet works very hard in school. The negative of it is Kibet does not work very hard in school. I did the shopping at the supermarket. I did the shopping at the supermarket. The negative one is going to say, I did not do the shopping at the supermarket. Having said that, I want to give you some sentences that you can write or you can do on your own so that you can look at the next lesson. I want to give you some sentences that are in the positive, you let them in negative, so that we, we shall look at them during our next lesson. So, what to do on the positive and negative sentences? So, change, change the positive sentences below. Sentences by using not by using not the first one the first one she can read this book in one day.
watch the football match. Last three. She will go to town on Sunday. Do those works, uh, do that work <coughs> that uh, we shall look at it in the next lesson. Having said that, I want now to start on present perfect continuous plus four and six. Present perfect continuous. Um, I have a sentence here. We started traveling. I have a sentence here. We started traveling at seven o'clock. At seven o'clock. Now it is ten o'clock. These are two sentences. These are two sentences. We started traveling at seven o'clock. Now it is ten o'clock. Present perfect continuous plus four. We can also say, we can also say on this one, these two sentences, we can also say, we have been traveling. We can also say, we have been traveling, we have been traveling for three hours. Or we have been traveling. We have been traveling since since seven o'clock. For three hours. That is from seven to ten. Or we can also say we have been traveling since seven o'clock. From seven o'clock we have been traveling. And now it is ten o'clock. Those are about three hours travel. So the two sentences use for and since, and the message remains that we traveled uh, from seven o'clock up 
to 10 o'clock, yeah, you have been traveling. Now, I want to give an example here, another example so that we can proceed. Present, perfect, continuous. So, we have been traveling, hmm? continuing, traveling hmm? for three hours, non-stop. Three hours. Hmm? Yes. We have rewrite the following sentences using for and since for each pair of sentences. I have a pair of sentences here to write. She started. She started singing. At one o'clock, at one o'clock, at one o'clock. Now it is, now it is six o'clock. She started singing at one o'clock, now it is six o'clock. This sentence can, can be written as She has been singing She has been singing for three hours Three hours So it should be six, 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 six four For three hours, and then she has been singing since since uh, one o'clock. One o'clock. It is four o'clock. So three hours. That. Let me give you two sentences to do alone. What to do? He started walking. He started walking. It is now six o'clock. Write that one. You see, four or six. Another, the last one. We started swimming. We started swimming at ten o'clock. Do those ones, you shall look at them in the next lesson. Having said that, I wish you a good time as you do the homework. And when we meet in the next lesson, we shall continue from there. Our English lesson ends there. And I wish you well. Bye. English teacher.